So today we want to talk about the sprawl, which is the, sort of the fully committed level of defense. That's when our opponent is taking a nice, slow, and powerful shot at us. We didn't get uh, our arm by itself is not powerful enough to stop it. We can't drop our level low enough. So we've got to get our legs back and we've got to get our hips into our opponent. So let me just show you the sprawl real quick. I'm going to bring my hands down to the mat, throw my legs out, keeping my chest up, my front leg. Uh, is the leg that's digging down into the mat. My, uh, my back leg, I'm just using sort of as a balancing leg here, making sure my hips are relatively square with the floor, my chest is up, and I'm driving my hips down into the dirt. Let me show you guys this again real quickly from the side. There's a very important detail. What I'm doing with my, notice what I'm doing with my shoelaces on my front leg. Shoelaces to the mat. I don't want my toes digging into the mat here. What can happen is if my toes are digging in and my opponent strike strikes starts driving into me, I'll catch and get driven back up into an attack. I want my shoelaces to the mat, my opponent drives, I slide back, and my hips are staying in the mat, staying in my opponent. I'm going to show how we can incorporate that into your pre-practice drill session. Hands down, lowering my level from my butt, dropping my hip into the mat, other leg out for stabilization. As you do this, you want to be circling away from your opponent. So if my opponent is attacking my front leg, I'm going to circle in the other direction. Circle, 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 come up. And you can add that. Do that about 10 times before your practice or when you're doing some shadow drilling on your own in front, in front of a mirror. And you'll notice your sprawls get more powerful, they get quicker, you're going to be stopping a lot more shots.